Hi, I'm Emma Liu, the Creative Director with Heartfelt Creations. Today I'm bringing you some shaping techniques with the Enchanted Mum Collection. I absolutely love these flowers. You'll love them too. There's so many different ways that you can shape them to create absolutely exquisite dimension and detail. <music> This is the Enchanted Mum stamp set, and with this stamp set you'll get um, three different flower sizes plus five different dragonflies, and those are all attached so you can stamp them like a background stamp. This is the coordinating die for that one, so you can stamp and cut them all out with one pass of the die. So to get started, I stamped my image with a dark peony um, chalk ink, and before I'm cutting this out, I'm wanting to color it because these petals have such detail. So it's a lot easier to color this first. Now I'm just using a Berrylicious uh, chalk ink and I'm pressing down a little bit harder in the tips and then I pull up a little bit lighter as I go towards the center and that gives you a nice uh, shaded or faded effect. Um, so you can go ahead and do that on each of the petals. And I just find that with this specific flower, it's just a little bit easier to cut to uh, color it first. Um, and then you're ready to cut those out. You'll see that I also colored some of those dragonflies. When you're ready to cut these out, this die blade is on the edge. So all you have to do is just flip this around and line that up. And once that is lined up, just press the tape down and that secures it. And you're ready to run this through your die cutting machine and cut those flowers out. To create these beautiful flowers, you can go ahead after you have cut them out, you can go ahead and take your stylus tip. For the large flower, I like to use the eight millimeter tip and just kind of press down right in the, the tips of these petals. So just do that on each of the tips and that will start to kind of bring that forward. You'll also notice that I colored the back of the flower. That makes that when the, uh, when, if it gets twisted, that the white doesn't show from the back. So I'm using my paper curling tip and I'm just grabbing that and just curling that in random directions and then you can just pull that out. So you'll do this on each flower petal and since this these petals have a lot of what I call kind of a v-shape at the tip that makes it you can really get a great curled effect and when you do this just remember that the more um, different or random ways that you curl this the better this is going to turn out so at first this might feel just a little bit awkward <laughs> and sometimes it does slip off a little bit. You just wanna make sure that you grab it really well, just give it a good twist. The closest thing I reference this to is it's kinda of like curling your hair if you've done that before. <laughs> just release it once it comes down and then just finish that last petal. Now once you've finished this, you can go ahead and lay this down and you have the option to curl it up like this if you wanted to. Now for the flower I'm creating, I'm actually going to just bring it up on this side or if you wanted to create this flower, you would have flipped it stamp side up and pressed down in the middle. So if you just keep it with a stamp side on, on here, you'll have that really curl the opposite direction and that gets a very nice flower. So at this point, you're ready to glue these flowers together. So you'll go ahead, just add um, a big kind of glob of glue on the back. Put this in the center, just kind of offset the petals a little bit. I like to use my stylus just to press that down, then we'll, we can go ahead and put the smaller flower in the center. Just kind of tighten this up a little bit. I'll just go in a couple more circular motions. And then you can also squeeze that a little bit. Put the glue on the back and you can put that in the center. So as you can see, it's a very beautiful flower that's extremely curly and you can get so many different effects with that. To create these small flower buds within the Enchanted Mums, what I like to do is put the flower stamp side down and then I'm using the six millimeter 
um, tip and just bringing those petals up like this. And then I'll kind of go in a circular motion in the center. Then the key to creating this flower bud so that it looks uh, correct is just folding this in half, just squeeze that together. It might feel a little bit awkward, but once you've done that, just open it back up and add some glue into this, the center and, and glue that half together. So just squeeze that shut. And then once you've done that, just fold it in half again like this, and that will create a nice little um, flower bud. So I'll open that back up again, add a little um, squeeze of glue in there, and then hold that shut. Now this one I did forget to color on the back, so you can see a little bit of the white. So I would definitely recommend coloring those flowers on the back so you do not have any white showing through. This is another stamp set that we have in the Enchanted Mum collection. It's called the Enchanted Mum Bouquet. So you have these two images, and you can see those a little bit better on the back. And what I love about these is we now have the main image uh, for those two in a die as well. So this makes it you can really stamp and cut those out very quickly. So you'll see that here, this is how it looks in just a stamped and die cut out image. So you have a lot of great detail. Um, and then I used this flower um, on this card. So I use this as the background and you can easily add a dimensional flower to the top so you can see how beautifully that looks very quickly. Um, this is another way that I used um, this spray on the bottom and then I just set a flower up in here. You'll also see this border on the side with all the dragonflies. Um, that comes out of the enchanted dragonfly set. You'll have that border that's very delicate. You'll have this thinking of you and then you'll have the dragonflies. And um, with this one, you have that border on the back and some dragonflies that you can cut out with the enchanted dragonflies die. Um, here's a card that I created with that, that I absolutely love. Um, we added the border to the side with the dragonflies and then we added that banner to the top and what I love about that banner is you can easily add a little flower bud um, to the top and just attach that to the card. Um, so that's a really cute way to use the border and the banner as well. And then we also have um, some single background stamps with this collection. So we have the single enchanted mums. These are really great, just used as background and then add those dimensional flowers to the top. Um, and then we also have the enchanted mum clusters and you'll see that one and this one, those were used um, on this card. I stamped that to the background then added the prills. I'll show you how to create this card in my next video. Um, you'll see the beautiful papers in the background. And here's another um, example of just stamping that image. This is a just done with white ink and clear embossing powder and then we used the border around the edge and attached some dimensional flowers, some flower buds. And then uh, we also have this card you saw just a little bit earlier with the tags and the um, background papers. And then this album is just a beautiful way to showcase special moments, um, maybe a wedding or just a, a fun family occasion. Um, so those are different ways that those are shaped. I also have some different flowers here on the table that I'll just kind of pull up so you can see all those different ways that you can shape. I'm sure by now you're just like, oh my gosh, I have to go create some of these. Um, so you get completely different looks just based on how you shape those. Um, and then last but not least, we've got the paper collection. You can see um, more of the individual papers on our website, but it really reminds me of cotton candy colors. They're absolutely exquisite and fun to work with. I know you'll absolutely love using these shaping techniques on your Enchanted Mums. If you'd like to see some more variations and different way the design team has worked with them, you can visit our gallery at heartfeltcreations.us Click on gallery and then in the gallery search, just pop in Enchanted Mum and that will bring up a lot of different samples. We'd love to see what you create with this collection. You can do so by sharing it on Facebook. Leave some comments below. Let me know what you loved about the video, what you'd like to see in future videos. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you next time.